Hi everyone, Alana Corso, Managing Broker, Co-Founding Partner of Dwell Realtors. This week's vlog is about how I got into real estate. I thought it'd be fun to do my own backstory. I'm a huge fan of watching the Olympics every two years and hearing all of the Olympic athletes backstories and how they became Olympians. It's so amazing to hear the struggles and sacrifices and amazing things that, that athletes had overcome to do to make it to the Olympics. While I'm not an Olympic athlete, I do have a backstory. So believe it or not, I didn't wake up one morning and say, I wanna be a real estate agent. I wanna be a realtor, that sounds amazing. I actually had a fairly untraditional path into real estate from what I think. Back in 2008, my husband Mark and I were considering selling our first house. And in deciding to find a real estate agent, I turned to our local San Carlos Belmont Parents Club for recommendations to see who we could meet with. And there was a particular agent, Bob Burdell, whose name was recommended several times. And so I told my husband, Mark, and said, gosh, I guess we really should reach out to this Bob Burdell guy. And he goes, you mean Bobby Burdell? And I go, apparently you know him. He did, they had actually attended St. Francis High School together and graduated together. So I reached out to Bob and had him come over to, to meet us. And coincidentally, he literally lived around the corner from us, which was super funny that we didn't know that. And long story short, he helped us sell our house and buy our next house in San Carlos. At the time, Bob was writing a successful real estate blog, the San Carlos blog, which I read all the time and loved it. And Bob and I would always keep in touch. I'd comment on his blog posts. I loved getting his market updates. I kind of joked that real estate was quote unquote mom porn because it's fun to look at all the houses and how they're doing in the market. Bob's business was on a great trajectory of growth and he had posted a blog article that he was looking to add someone to his team. That's where I come in. I decided to respond and say, hey, I think we should talk about it. Maybe I want to do real estate. And to back up a little bit, at the time, I was working at Smith Barney, which is a preeminent wealth management firm in Menlo Park. So I was working, I had a full-time job. I was working with clients and you know, managing their portfolios. I loved my coworkers, loved my teammates, loved my clients. I wasn't really looking for a change, but something about real estate really always piqued my interest. So Bob and I sat down, we had a conversation. He told me about the opportunity on his team and it was he was really looking for a full-time assistant. And him and I, in our conversations, decided that I probably wasn't a fit for being you know, an assistant, but he thought I'd be more well-suited to being a buyer's agent and encouraged me to research getting my real estate license and trying to take that test. Fast forward me taking all of the extra classes I needed to take for my real estate license and sitting down to take my test. I, in, it was June of 2012, passed my real estate license exam. Yeah! Ah, what do I do next? So I reached out to Bob and said, okay, I got my license, now what? So him and I had another conversation about formally joining his team, but on the backside, I still had a job at Smith Barney. And for those of you that know about real estate, it's 100% sales, 100% commission. There's no base salary. There's no guaranteed income. And that's a scary, scary thing for me to think about when I have you know, two children at the time, a husband, we have mortgage payment, all these things. So it felt a little uncomfortable to jump with both feet into real estate. So I was able to negotiate staying part-time at Smith Barney, which was then being merged with Morgan Stanley and to do real estate. I did that for about six months and then I formally switched over to doing real estate 100% full-time. 
in doing real estate 100% time, I was Bob Spire's agent on his team and he was introducing me to clients to work with. I was meeting folks at open houses and really discovered that I had a true passion for real estate. I grew up around houses. My mom is an architect and a contractor and I spent many hours as a child going to different job sites, looking at homes, checking them out, going to open houses for my mom and my stepdad to consider potential investment properties to flip themselves. So it was kind of ingrained in my, in my being to be surrounded by the real estate process. As my experience grew being by Bob's buyer's agent, I ultimately outgrew that position and um, was able to do transactions all on my own with listings and uh, obtaining my own buyers. And Bob and I decided that it was time for me to spread my own wings and to do my own real estate practice. Fast forward a few years, Bob and I and some other like-minded agents that we worked and networked with a lot in our community decided to create and open Dwell Realtors. When we were deciding roles and who could do what within the, the new brokerage that we were creating, with my wealth management and compliance background, um, we thought I'd be well suited to be the managing broker for the firm. So I took the necessary classes to obtain my broker's license. I passed the exam and here I am now, um, the managing broker and one of the founding partners of Dwell Realtors. In building my successful real estate practice, I use the experience I obtained working in wealth management, the daughter of being an architect and a contractor, and my passion for working with clients and the relationships I build with those people over the years to really truly love and, and honor this career that I've, I've created. So I hope you've enjoyed learning about my own backstory and getting to know me a little bit more. Thanks for tuning in.